<laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody, let's give God some praise. Come on, if that was for me, that would be all right. But let's give God some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy of our praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, God is worthy. And if I was you here tonight, I wouldn't waste this night just coming here to be entertained. Hallelujah. I, I want to do something. I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. I want to ask everyone to make their way down to the altar. Because at midnight, I want us praying as we bring in 2019. If you would, just make your way down to the altar. Come on, come on, let's get, make your way down. We won't keep it long, I promise you, but I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. 2019, this is our year. Come on, somebody, now you can give us some music. Give us something slow, something soft. I know you got something up there. Amen, 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 amen. We are, we're so grateful to the Lord. As, as you guys were testifying, I was thinking back in, I believe it was 1862, the first watch night service. And the purpose of that watch night service was our ancestors were sitting there waiting to hear about the Emancipation of Proclamation, it's waiting to see if that was going to be signed by President Abraham Lincoln. Can you imagine that? We're talking about what we went through, but the things that they went through. Can it be that one? And look at us now. Look at us now. We can say, oh yes, we got problems, we got issues in our life, we got things going on, but look at us now. We can stand and we can worship freely. Hallelujah. We're preparing for a great year. 2019. A great year. A year of unity for our community. 2019. Hallelujah. And I want you to grab your loved one. Grab somebody that's next to you. Because we're going to pray into 2019. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor, grab your wife. Get mine. We're going to pray. We can all pray together. Yes, yes. Yes, we all do this together. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, amen, 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 amen. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we, Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us. We thank you, Lord, for 2018. Lord, we realize that everything didn't go the way we thought it should went. But, Lord, it's because of your grace. It's because of the mercy that we can stand here tonight. And we can say, thank you, Lord. We can say, thank you, Lord. We can say, thank you, Lord, you, Lord for keeping us. Oh, Lord, some of us lost loved ones this year. Some of us lost jobs this year. Some of us lost relationships this year. But all of us have been good to us. Yes. You've brought us through a mighty long way. But you kept us even when we couldn't keep ourselves. Yes. And Lord, there's people that made their way out here tonight saying, I want to be in church tonight. I want to worship tonight. I want to bring in 2019 tonight. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for our hearts. We thank you for these men and women, Lord, that have come together tonight. Lord, that knows the power of prayer. That knows the power of worship. Knows when praises go up, blessings come down. Knows that God says he inhabits the praises of his people. Know, Lord, that without you we can do nothing. But through you, Lord, we can have a revival in Geneva. Through you, Lord, we can bring people together. Through you, Lord, we can bring the nomination through your Lord, we can bring religion together. Through your Lord, we can bring ethnicity together. Lord, we believe in it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the word tells us that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. The word tells us, Lord, that when two or three are gathered in your name, there you will be in the midst. Lord, I'm speaking your word back to you. I'm giving it 
back to you, Lord, because your word said we're not returned to you, Lord. We're speaking life right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we're speaking life and life more abundantly in this great city. Lord, this city that you have erected. And Lord, this city that you have not forgotten about. Yes. Lord, we ask that for your strength right now. We ask for your strength right now. Lord, forgive those who need to be forgiven. Lord, strengthen those who's holding on to stuff that needs to let go. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Lord. We're standing in the need. The need is for the reviving, reviving our community. Make it what you call it to be, Lord. We're standing right now. We come to the altar right now. We are humbling ourselves before you right now. Yes. Knowing that you can't do it, we can't do it without you. We're standing. We're thanking you, Lord, for these.